Welcome to another chapter of our global explorations here on World in Days. Today, we delve deep into the heart of Hong Kong, the shimmering pearl of the Orient, a city where ancient traditions blend seamlessly with the pulse of modernity. Over the next few days, witness with us the amazing wonders, historical gems, and scenic beauty of Hong Kong. Let's embark on this four-day exploration of a city that never sleeps. On our first day, we dive deep into the bustling heart of Hong Kong, wandering Central's vibrant streets, and ascend the iconic Victoria Peak for a vista that's nothing short of spectacular. Nestled amidst the skyscrapers, this 19th century Taoist temple stands as a tribute to the gods of literature and war. Its atmospheric interior, with spiraling incense coils, contrasts sharply with the city's hustle, offering a quiet refuge. The temple's rich heritage and craftsmanship make it a must-visit, bearing testimony to Hong Kong's enduring spiritual legacy. As we transition from this serene pocket, let's head over to Central Mid-Level's escalator. This engineering marvel isn't just about convenience. Being the world's longest outdoor-covered escalator system, it threads through the city, offering a layered perspective of Hong Kong's urban evolution from age-old street vendors to contemporary boutiques. It's a journey through time, in many respects, after this fascinating ride, our stomachs beckon us to lunch at La Cutie House. Beyond just a dining spot, La Cue is a trip down memory lane. Steeped in history, its colonial-era ambience and wooden interiors narrate tales from the past. The authentic dim sum here, passed down through generations, offers a tantalizing taste of tradition. Relishing these age-old recipes, we then prepare for an ascent to Victoria Peak via Peak Trong. No trip to Hong Kong is complete without this. The tram journey itself, dating back to 1888, is a nostalgic experience, but the real treat awaits atop. The panoramic views from the peak, encompassing the glittering skyline against the vast South China Sea, is a visual symphony that stays with you. As daylight fades, we find ourselves drawn to dinner at the Peak Lookout. This heritage spot isn't just about great food. Housed in a building over a century old, it exudes colonial elegance. With an extensive menu offering both Asian and international delicacies, dine with a view that's simply unmatched anywhere. On day two, we dive deep into Kowloon's labyrinth, where a tapestry of history, culture, and local life unfolds, offering insights into the city's rich past and vibrant present. Our first stop is Hong Kong Museum of History. It isn't just a museum, it's a time capsule. Journey from prehistoric times to the modern era, witnessing Hong Kong's evolution through detailed exhibits. With every artifact and narrative, one gains profound insights into the resilience and spirit of Hong Kong's people. From this temporal voyage, we shift to Nanlion Garden and Shai Lai Nunnery. A serene landscape in the city's heart, this Tang Dynasty-styled garden, with its meticulously manicured plants, koi-filled ponds, and timber structures, offers tranquility. Adjacently, the Shai Lai Nunnery's wooden architecture, devoid of nails, showcases ancient craftsmanship and devotion. After this calming stroll, it's time for lunch at Max Nood. Its modest exterior hides a world of flavors, Max is legendary for its wonton noodle soup, a recipe perfected over generations. As the delicate broth warms you, the tales of this family-run institution add depth to every bite. 
post this delightful meal, let's immerse ourselves in Temple Street Night Market. As day turns to dusk, this market springs to life. Beyond shopping, it's an authentic slice of Hong Kong's nightlife. Fortune tellers, opera singers, and bustling stalls selling everything from trinkets to treasures. The vibrant atmosphere is infectious and setting the stage for dinner at Joy Hing Roasted Meat. A testament to culinary tradition, revered for its Cantonese roasted meats, Joy Hing's history intertwines with the evolution of Hong Kong's dining scene. Each bite resonates with flavors passed down through the ages, concluding day two on a savory note. Day three of our Hong Kong journey takes us away from the city's hustle to explore the enchanting islands where serene landscapes meet rich cultural tapestries. Our first stop is the majestic Lantau Island, home to the awe-inspiring Tiantan Buddha. Watch as this colossal statue serenely gazes upon devotees and travelers, symbolizing harmony between man, nature, and faith. Adjacent to the Buddha is the Poline Monastery, a sanctuary of spirituality. Its intricate designs narrate tales of Buddhist devotion, creating a tranquil atmosphere that's almost tangible. Next, we dive into the Venice of Hong Kong, Taiyo Fishing Village. Here, the traditional stilt houses and the friendly tanker fisher folk narrate a story far removed from the urban side of Hong Kong. Wander through its alleys and witness the age-old fishing methods that have stood the test of time. Having glimpsed this traditional life, we lunch at Engongping 360 Garden Restaurant. Located on the scenic Engongping Plateau, this restaurant promises vegetarian delights. Each dish, inspired by Buddhist principles, not only pleases the palate but also the soul. As we satiate our hunger, we are perfectly positioned to stroll through Engongping village. Just steps away from the restaurant, we wander into the culturally themed Engongping village. Here, the air is filled with the melodic sounds of traditional Chinese music and the scent of incense wafts from quaint shops selling artisanal crafts. This village is not just a stopover. It's a vibrant tableau of cultural exhibitions, shops, and tea houses that echo with the heritage of the island. As we meander through the village, our path leads us to an escape into the wilderness on Lantau Trail. We lace up for a serene hike on the Lantau Trail, a well-trodden path that promises verdant landscapes and occasional views of the South China Sea shimmering under the sun. This portion of the trail, not far from the village, is an invigorating journey that reveals the untouched beauty of Lantau Island. The trail is as meditative as it is picturesque, with each step deepening our connection with nature. Our day culminates at Taiyo Lookout. Here, we'll indulge in fresh seafood while the setting sun paints a breathtaking picture over the calm waters. Overlooking the water, indulge in fresh seafood delicacies as the setting sun paints the sky. We end day three on a mesmerizing note. Day four is all about blending the urban and the organic as you hike through Hong Kong's lush trails, concluding in a historic neighborhood teeming with stories. We're kicking off our day at the renowned Dragon's Back Hike, hailed as Asia's best urban hike. Join us as we trek through this scenic trail, where the beauty of serene beaches and distant cityscapes merge into one breathtaking panorama Remember to lace up your hiking boots and bring water, because this trail is a true gem in the midst of Hong Kong's urban sprawl. After descending from our natural high, 
It's time for a culinary journey down Chao Kiai Wan Main Street East. Here, every bite tells a story. From the spicy zing of curry fish balls to the sweet, comforting egg waffles. Let's dive into these flavors that have evolved right here on these bustling streets. With our taste buds still tingling, we're heading to Sheng Wan and Taiping Shan Street. This neighborhood is a storyteller, its lanes echoing tales of the Opium Wars, lined with colonial buildings and artisan boutiques. Don't miss the Manmo Temple, a sanctuary amidst the city's hustle. And for art lovers, the contemporary galleries here are a must visit. As twilight embraces the city, we'll be dining at Blue Butcher and Meat Specialist. In this restored building, every dish is a fusion of East and West, a true reflection of Hong Kong's ethos. To cap off our night, we could head to Victoria Peak for a stunning sunset view or enjoy a star ferry ride for a mesmerizing perspective of the illuminated skyline. Our journey today took us through the heart and soul of Hong Kong, where history, culture, and modernity dance in harmony. Now let us look into travel tips to help with our Hong Kong journey. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, these insider tips will help you navigate this vibrant city with ease and make the most of your Hong Kong adventure. Invest in Octopus prepaid card making public transport and small purchases a breeze. Renting a portable Wi-Fi device or purchasing a local SIM can be cost-effective and keep you connected. Hong Kong is a mix of modernity and treks. Ensure comfortable footwear for long walks and hikes. From temples to local eateries, always be aware and respectful of local customs and practices, especially during the warmer months. Carrying a bottle of water is essential. Many establishments offer potable tap water refills. While Cantonese is the primary language, English is widely spoken in most tourist areas. Armed with these tips, you're all set to dive into the incredible experience that is Hong Kong. Exploring Hong Kong is a treat any time of the year but each season paints the city with a distinct hue. Let's navigate through the seasons of Hong Kong to find out the ideal time for you to visit. Spring graces Hong Kong with a gentle embrace. The city awakens with blooming flowers, painting the town with pastels. With temperatures ranging between a cool 17 degrees Celsius and a mild 26 degrees Celsius, it's a pleasure to explore the city on foot. Spring offers comfortable temperatures, making it a joy to explore both the urban and natural wonders of the city. But keep an umbrella handy. Spring can sometimes surprise you with quick shower. Summer in Hong Kong is a sizzling affair. With temperatures soaring between 26 degrees Celsius and a balmy 33 degrees Celsius, Summer is all about beach days and vibrant nights. The festival season is in full swing, with the sitter bursting with energy. However, summer also brings humidity and occasional typhoons. But fret not, indoor attractions and malls offer a cool respite. As leaves turn golden and the air gets crisper, autumn sets a romantic mood in Hong Kong. Temperatures between 20 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius mean pleasant days and slightly cooler nights. Arguably the best season to visit, autumn offers clear skies and perfect outdoor conditions. Winter in Hong Kong brings its own charm. It's cool, it's festive, and it's absolutely delightful. The mercury dips between 14 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius, bringing out the jackets and warm beverages. It's the festive season. With Christmas and Lunar New Year, the sitter becomes a celebratory haven. 
While it's mostly dry, the cold winds can sometimes make it feel chillier than it is. There you have it, the tapestry of seasons in Hong Kong. So, whether you're a summer lover or a winter wanderer, Hong Kong has something for every traveler. Pack your bags and let the city's seasons sweep you off your feet. As our world in day's journey in the vibrant city of Hong Kong draws to a close, we are filled with awe and wonder. Four days might have flown by, but the memories, stories and experiences will stay with us for a lifetime. From the silent whispers of ancient temples to the roaring energy of its towering skyscrapers, from the myriad flavors that danced on our palates to the panoramic views that left us breathless, Hong Kong has been a revelation. As we continue our journey around the globe, remember to embrace each moment, cherish every experience, and keep the spirit of exploration alive. Until our next adventure on World in Days, goodbye from Hong Kong, where every heartbeat echoes the rhythm of the world.